Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you're going to have an awesome day today over here. If you have already key, do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe. While well, you had to go ahead and push the bell for notifications so, so you can get to scoop my news up and videos. Now, apologies, I know this isn't any ordinary type of review video I'm going to be doing for you guys. Normally, I'll be doing transactions of DC, EU, or DC uh videos but the uh, thing is it's i was actually live streaming so i said hey how about i just do a review video of this on here so i'm going to do a review along with a small recap there's going to be a little bit of spoilers and there was a cameo appearance as well also so out of all of that i am not going to be talking about well Every single thing will happen inside the movie. I'm not going to be spilling the tea. I'm going to be telling the parts that you guys need to actually know about this film. Okay, so first of all, it's the place way back in the CD area. Basically where it's, um, I suppose you could say it's sort of like Aztec areas. So what happened was that, uh, you could say basically... Uh, tenant well, let's call him Adam. Adam's son basically he became champion. I want to tell you how he became champion. He became champion because he wanted to steal Ethereum. It's a certain kind of device. It's kind of like Kryptonite. Let's just say it's kind of like Kryptonite. It's different. It's blue. It's not green. It's blue. So okay, this blue Kryptonite basically is a weakness towards Black Adam's power, basically. And so this kid, he was supposed to give it to one of the soldiers that a king was actually looking for. Now this king ruled with the iron fist for a whole empire. He was, he had Adam's slave, he had Adam's son enslaved his wife, and the whole village, the whole city enslaved, looking for this type of crystal. And so they finally found what they needed, but there's a crown that they also needed. So they're going to find a crown that they also needed in order to, I suppose, uh, make something big that was actually coming. Yeah, well, I mean something big. Uh, let's just say that it'll be a story for another time. Other than that, I do have something for you. Truthfully, what happened in the story was Black Adam, Adam, the main character, he didn't have those powers. He wasn't the one who possesses those powers. He was the one who grew up to become champion and he had those powers because uh, he was about to get executed. The reason why he was going to be executed is because they needed a hero. They needed a lot of people to be free and unstop this work that this king is making them do. Slavery, every single thing, the works. They hated it. So. Adam's son was about to be killed, and Adam's son ends up disappearing. He disappears into a pit where there's a whole bunch of, I guess you could say, wizards, they call it, and they gave him some powers. So along the way, with these powers he had, well, let's just say that he became champion. Well, me, he became champion. He was basically a vigilante, or a superhero, you could call it. And he was fighting, helping out, saving a lot of people from dying or being captured and stuff. Until one day he was being hunted by assassins. But the king also did send other people, more assassins, to kill uh, the son, the champion's father, Adam, including his wife. Yes, brutally murdered right in front of his eyes. And so, as soon as Adam was about to die, his son came up to him. His son was... I'd say probably like in his 20s or 30s right now. His son said, I can't let you die, Dad. So he sacrificed himself. He gave all of his power and put it inside of uh, his father. And so he was able to transform himself into a champion. But it is an anti-hero. Not a vigilante. Vigilantes, they... Vigilantes are kind of like Batman. They have a code of honor. Sometimes they'll kill. Sometimes they will not kill at all. Black Adam, he'll kill you <laughs> in an instant. Yes, a father. So he won revenge because when his son gave him all this power, well, let's just say that the assassins killed his own son. And so 
Adam and his wife. Well, uh, and his son, they were dead. So he went straight after the king. When he went straight after the king, he blew every single thing up inside, I guess, the king's palace with his full power. Uh, and how did he get his suit? His suit came on him. It was uh, kind of like, you know, kind of like Green Lantern and Ryan Reynolds when Ryan Reynolds first put on the ring. That's kind of how his suit was like, made. It just appeared onto him. So as it was peered onto him, he destroyed, wiped out every single thing. The story goes is that they thought that he was given this power and he was able to defeat the king and stop everything, but there's destruction. That wasn't the whole story. That wasn't what happened. He won revenge. He sure did get his revenge though. But other than that, he got disappeared into the dungeon where his son was at when his son was getting powers. The wizards, the warlocks, whatever you want to call them, they were not happy about that. They said, you were not given these powers, you were not chosen these powers, so we're going to imprison you. Of course, he got released from his prison courtesy of a woman that was actually looking for the evil crown that the king wanted. This crown possessed of these souls. It's just out of, out of whelm. I can't fathom enough to explain it. Let's just say that whoever possesses this crown will become the most evilest, diabolical person on earth. Yes, seriously. And only one person could take him on, and that was the Black Adam. Luckily, the king didn't even put on the crown. He didn't even get the chance to put on the crown. Because Black Adam sure did break his neck. Yeah, that's what he said. He broke his neck and then destroyed the palace, every single thing. Okay, now that we got that cleared out, so Black Adam was in prison. He was in prison and the lady let him out of the prison because she was about to be killed by some mercs. She was betrayed by one guy that was on an exhibition. Um, they are trying to find the crown and they want to lock up the crown, but a lot of these are mercenaries. They could not handle Black Adam. He killed all of them, every single one of them. It was, um, I'd say, Superman, he has Superman powers and electricity powers. Electricity powers means it's kind of like Mortal Kombat with Raiden. If Raiden grabs you, if he electrocutes you, like, in, um, let's just say, a brutality, he could, like, just explode your body with the electricity. He kind of has Raiden's powers from Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 11. That's all I can say right there. So just imagine Raiden's powers from Mortal Kombat 10 times fold, including Superman's power. Yeah, basically. Uh, no laser eye vision, no, um, I guess you could say, uh, breath vision. Well, I mean breath, he can't like, really uh, turn things into ice with his breath, but if he claps his hands, Black Adam, you're gone, you're toast, I mean, the skin on your skeleton, it's gone if he claps with his hands. It's like just a little bravo clap. And I feel that really intimidated and very interesting. And I was thinking to myself, okay, Black Adam is also bulletproof and he has the speed of Superman, meaning in Zack Snyder's Justice League, when the Flash was about to attack Superman, Superman is fast as Flash, maybe even faster than Flash. So Black Adam is fast as Superman, just to let you know. And during those fights, this was taking place in 1987. Uh, reason why is because inside a kid's room, uh, when Black Adam like actually woke up because he was injured, wounded, but he healed himself inside a kid's room from the mother who like uh, released him from the prison. He had every single thing about the Justice League, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, uh, at Batman, everyone, you name it, from the 1987. Now, from 1987, I believe, Ben Affleck's Batman, he had to be a younger version. Now, in the Justice League, this version is an older detective Batman. So, what I'm saying is that this is the JSS. The JSS came way before the Justice League. So, now... Amanda Wallers, she pit Superman. Yeah, she actually pit Superman 
um, at the cameo ending, because of course Black Adam ended up, I guess you could say, defeating, uh, I guess the main villain towards the ending. He got netherrealm powers, like deadliest powers ever. On the Jets essays, they end up dying, but Black Adam, I suppose, they let him go as long as he's protecting his own city so as long as he's protecting his own city i mean waller said that if you have any problems with anyone else or against me if you hurt anyone well, i have some friends that are not from this world and i would send them to you and he said send them so she actually sent superman yeah henry calvo actually came out now, I would show you clips and bits of these scenes that I'm talking about, even these pictures, but while I'm making this video right now, I'm probably redoing it at least like three times because if I post up these pictures from the movie or even like clips from the TV show, uh, it'll get destructed and put down. So I can't really post them up at the moment, not even the trailer. I'll let you guys know when I could start posting them up, but let's just say that the DCU wants to keep it a secret for now. And then I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel as always. And yes, of course, I'll see you all in the next one.